it going everybody, it's Dave from Talking Wars. Welcome back to a brand new video today. We've got a transfer and news update video today. Informing you guys of what's going on really at Molyneux at the moment. Uh, all the rumours in the press as well. Of course, it's still a bit fragile after yesterday's FA Cup semi-final defeat. But hopefully we'll bring you some interesting news. Uh, try and take our minds away from that defeat and hopefully focus on the rest of the season. Support, as always, has been fantastic recently, so if you are new or you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. You can also click the little notification bell so you're notified every time we upload, and make sure you hit that like button down below as well. So an interesting story came today, uh, courtesy of Portuguese uh, paper Arbola, about uh, Portuguese star Ruben Vernagre. Uh, it's reported that Barcelona have actually got a chief scout looking at the young left wing back. Uh, you know, we'll sign him up for, I think it was like two to four million back in the in the summer from Monaco and a real steal of a, of a buy. And now apparently, you know, he's attracted some of the biggest clubs in the world. It'll be interesting to see, obviously, if a scout is genuinely looking at Vinagre. Uh, there were, have been said that they were very impressed with his performance against uh, Manchester United uh, beforehand. And I think, you know, that he, he played fantastic. He's such a great player and I've... It's it's crazy comparisons, but I I've always said I I believe he could play further up the pitch and not just at left wing back. Obviously, he's still very young, and but he reminds me of like a Gareth Bale type player who started his career at left back and sort of slowly moved his way forward and has even deployed as a right winger and a striker in his Spurs and Real Madrid days. Um, I know it's a ridiculous comparison, but Vinagre is seriously that good. He's so good on the ball. Uh, Attacking-wise, you know, I think he's a good finisher as well. You know, going forward, he's, he's dangerous. Uh, but Barcelona are looking at him. Apparently, Jurgen Klopp uh, admires the youngster as well. When we played them um, back, you know, I believe it was in the FA Cup when Vinagre played, and Klopp went up to him and said, uh, how would you like living in Liverpool? But, you know, he's he's got big, there's big interest in him. Um, but for me, he's a fantastic player and someone that Wolves should long-term be keeping hold of because he's a tremendous player. The second piece of news is one that a lot of Wolves fans were upset about. When I posted it on social media, now, when... Because uh, I run all the, the Talking Wolves Facebook, Twitter and so on, so I see a lot of what people are, are saying and so on. When I post a story, it's genuinely because it interests me and I think other Wolves fans should hear about it. I don't post a story just because, you know, I, I like clicks and, and likes and retweets and so on. So, um, in, I believe it's Correo de Mania, another Portuguese uh, press tabloid, who I have, I have heard aren't fantastic, but they said that um, if Wolves were to lose Nuno in the summer, the Wolves have already got lined up. Benfica's boss... Uh, Bruno Lage. Um obviously Nuno's been linked with the Chelsea job uh, recently but Wal uh, this paper has said that Wolves have got Benfica's uh, gaffer as the man lined up to replace Nuno if he were to go a £20 million release clause on the Benfica manager's contract and, and a lot of people were saying as it is if I had made this rumour up and why was I posting this and so on um, yeah, it's it's just one of them, isn't it? But I found it interesting news that a paper is already reporting that. Um, of course, to to be linked already to managers before our manager is not. I'm saying not saying Nuno's going to leave because I fully don't expect him to. But um, very very interesting indeed. And uh, Bru Bruno Lager, I don't know a lot about him. If there are any Portuguese fans watching, let me know what you know about him in the comment section. Down below, but I think one thing's for certain: we wouldn't have to change any of our chance, would we? I mean, Bruno's the special one, maybe. But no, I'll move on. And finally, it was reported um, about five days ago that Wolves were looking at uh, Inco uh, international uh, striker and uh, Nico Lopez. Um, there was a Copa Libertadores game last week between Internacional and River Plate, which uh, cl uh, Wolves had officials at looking supposedly at uh, Nico Lopez. The Uruguayan forward is now 25, but he's had spells in Italy and, and Spain before. And he actually went and scored in that game um, against River Plate. But he scored 3-3 three three in the Copa Libertadores so far. Um, main position as a striker. Can also de be deployed uh, as a right winger. But um, it's interesting to see his links, obviously, to this type of forward. I don't really know much about him, but I mean, 3-3 three three, uh, at the moment. He's not actually played for the Uruguay national team as of yet either. So it'll be interesting for us to keep our eyes on that one. That was originally 
uh, reported by Radio Grenal over, you know, in in that that, in that native country, I suppose. But do, well, I mean, where do you guys think we need to improve in the summer? I mean, we we saw it. Maybe the depth is be, has been an option for Wolves uh, in that defeat to Watford yesterday. But some big links already. A couple of players have been linked. Uh, I mean, we've already been linked to the likes of Otamendi. I don't really think I've done a big video on that one, but Goal.com said we're linked with Nicholas Otamendi as well. But where do you guys think we need to improve? I'll be sure to make sure, well, give you guys another update video in the next few days or so. Uh, but hopefully Wolves can turn their attention to Southampton and get back to winning ways. As always, my name's been Dave. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you all very, very soon.